What's up guys, it's Stephen Freeborn here and today I want to talk to you guys about why a little is better than none. The best analogy I think you can you can kind of sum this whole video up with is think about if you only have enough money to fill up your gas tank a quarter of the way. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't put the money in your gas tank, right? You should still put the quarter of the tank in because at the very least that's going to get your car up and running. Just because you can't fill up the gas tank doesn't mean you don't put gas in the tank. The same thing applies to training or exercise or even nutrition. Just because you can't be perfect, just because you can't get all the way there doesn't mean that you should just default to none. You should do or take care of what you can. For example, if you had an hour workout plan for a day, but meetings ate up 45 minutes, or an unsuspected call from your boss, or uh, you know, uh, an angry client on the telephone, that doesn't mean that you should just say, well, I can't get the full hour in, so I'm just not gonna do any of it. No, you should still take advantage of the 15 minutes you have. And you're thinking, Stephen, well, what can I realistically get done in 15 minutes? The truth is you can get quite a bit done pretty soon, pretty fast. You can do a quick little warm up in two to five minutes, do a few pull-ups, a few push-ups, some lunges, some squats, some single leg RDLs, and before you know it, in 10 minutes, you've knocked out a pretty decent body weight workout. Granted, I get it. There's constraints, clothing, environment, atmosphere, drive time. But the concept still holds true. Just because you can't do it all doesn't mean you shouldn't do some or what you can do. The same thing applies not only to, to exercise and training, but it also applies to nutrition. Just because you can't eat perfect every meal of the day doesn't mean you shouldn't start eating perfect at least one meal in the day. Just because your nutrition fell apart at breakfast doesn't mean it has to fall apart at lunch. Or just because dinner was a crapshoot doesn't mean the next day's lunch needs to be a crapshoot. This idea that we need to be all or nothing or we need to be perfect or imperfect is what's holding a lot of people back from getting to where they want to go. This is a journey. This is the sum total of the parts. It's not going to happen overnight. One perfect day is not going to make you and one bad day is not going to break you. It's about doing what you can, when you can, as often as you can, and building on that. It's, it's the sum of all these small changes and small efforts that add up to the big effort you need to really make this goal happen, to make this weight loss happen, to achieve that deadlift, to hike that mountain, whatever your goal is. So get out of that all or nothing mindset. Start focusing on what you can do today. Even if it's at the very minimum, the very little, still do it. Do it because the small little changes you make or the small little efforts you make add up over the, the entire journey. You know, my favorite saying that kind of embodies this is small steps climb mountains. You don't climb a mountain by sprinting up it. You take small little steps over the course of many hours to get to the top. A goal is the same way. I hope that helps. I hope it kind of reframes it for you and I hope it doesn't, I hope it prevents you from ever feeling like it's a lost cause. I don't want a day or a week or an hour to go by feeling like, well, I messed up there so the rest of it's all just a wash. No, every minute of every day is an opportunity to do something better, to do something instead of what happened in the past. So stop throwing away your days, stop throwing away your weeks, focus on what you can do right now, and eventually you'll get where you're going. You gotta be patient, you gotta be consistent, but it'll pay off. If you guys have questions, wanna know more, just wanna talk to me, please reach out, comment, send me a message, shoot me an email, steven at freeborntrainingsystems.com. Uh, I'd love to talk to you guys more about this. Uh, but until next time, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.